so so far what we have is tags here that lead when somebody's tagged we can click on the tag and it leads to their profile but what we want is to be able to notify these people that they've been tagged in a post so let's go to notifications here for a second that's the notifications table so as you can see here we have these columns that represent first of all the person that's actually tagging the uh, the other people and then we can save our activity as a tag and then the content id will obviously be the post or comment that is being that these people are being tagged into but however here on content type of course it will show whether it's a comment or a post and then but here on content owner the issue is because the user is the one that's tagging people on their own post so we're going to have repeated data here that's because the user id who is the one acting on the post is acting on their own post so the content owner and the user id will be exactly the same so we can take advantage of this because there's one thing that's actually missing is the person being tagged because as you can see here we don't have a column to put that into effect so we have the one tagging the activity of tagging the content of the which is the post and then the content owner which repeats the same user but there's nowhere to actually save the one being tagged so instead of creating a new column you could do that just create a new column but i think it's better to use existing infrastructure if it's possible so in this case it is possible because we're going to be repeating the same data here so we much would much rather do something else with this column right there so instead i will put the one being tagged and it actually works well because when checking for notifications we check this very column uh, of the content owner so we'll be checking here we just need to tweak the notifications.php page a little bit to suit our needs so to begin with here let's go to our posts now for some reason i can't see my posts um table here but i can still see it here so that's okay so here we want to add an extra column for tags so we want to be saving the tags in there so let's go to our table structure and right at the end i will add one more column and i will call this one tags of course so this will be a uh, now variable character can store quite a number of characters here and that's um, let's see 65,000 so in here depending on how many tags you want to be able to put that's the length you're going to to add now the thing is every we are using user IDs here to to save the people that have been tagged so we are using the user ID and the user ID maximum number is 20 so we're just going to assume every user has a 20 length uh, user ID so if they're 20 if we multiply by 5 20 by 5 that's uh, 100 so we can store uh, five people in the length of 100 but the issue is we're going to be saving these guys as JSON data so and JSON data has extra characters like these here where you put name full colon some, um, something like that full colon and then your user ID or whatever that is so we have to account for these extra ones here but you can do the calculation on your own after you save a few you will see how much is required and then you can set the length to whatever that requirement is so for now, I'm just going to put it at 1,000. Uh, a good round number is 1024. So let's put it there. Or you can put it at 2048. Uh, maybe we do that. That's good enough. And then we can hit save. Or if you're completely unsure, just set it to a text 
column that way you can put as many tags as you need all right so we don't need an index on this one because we will not be using this to read it's just for us to save the people that were actually tagged in that post now you may be asking why are we saving the tags anyway because if we come back to our post here we can clearly see the tag is part of the post so why do we need to save it now the reason we need to save uh, because that data we are saving in these tags will never be seen by users here it's just internal saving of the tagged people in this uh, post now the reason i'm doing that is because if i click edit let's say for example i have mary here that is uh, tagged right or maybe i have mary john and peter now if for some reason i decide to edit my post here and add more people to tag here i don't want it to repeat the notifications again because that's what will happen once we we hit save it's going to check how many people are in there whom are tagged and then it's going to send them notifications all over again so it's not a big deal if it's just one or two people but imagine if somebody has tagged 20 people and then they decide oh i missed one more person in here and then they decide to add a new person there then all 20 of those people have to receive the notifications one more time that is wasteful and quite annoying for the people that are being tagged if the person is editing their post over and over so instead what will happen is because we have a column that already contains the tagged people we're just going to compare who's in that column already or not so if that person is already in that column there's no need to send them a notification again so we're just going to update and add the new uh, guy there and forget about the rest that's where that way we are more efficient in how we are saving this data all right so now that we have an explanation and a column that's fitting for this let's go to our text editor here and i'm going to open the functions so go to your classes folder and open the functions file so in here there is a add notification right so as you remember here i had said as we add the notifications we are going to have to add content owner as the person that is uh, being tagged so what we will do on add notifications here is because we don't have a way to actually bring in that data so we're just going to add one more parameter here and say um, tagged user we'll name it that for now uh, yeah now because we've already used this function many times in our project by adding this it would mean i have to go back to every instance of use for this and add an extra parameter there which will be tedious so to avoid that i will give it a default value of um it's entirely up to you it could be quotes like that or it could be zero so for as long as i've given it a default value it means i don't have to supply a value to it to the other parts that i've already used this function so which means i don't need to change anything i can just leave it like that however tagged user here we may use it see as content owner so we just need to add an if statement here and say if tagged user is not empty eh, right there if it's not empty we are going to set it to that so that uh, we replace the raw user because that's what determines the content owner which we want to change so content owner is going to be tagged user and when we are going to put it right there and that's the only change we are going to need inside this add notification uh, function and now what we need to create is another function called tag so this one is the one that does the actual tagging so it sends out notifications to these people so for for a start we are going to copy that add notification there because it will be required 
So we just need to replace these variables in there. And that is easy enough. For example, the user, the current user is in there. So let's put this one there. The activity is going to be tag. All right. And then the row. Now that's the content of the, uh, the content of the, the post that people are being tagged in either a post or a comment. So let me copy this and supply it there so that we can bring it from the outside. And then we have tagged user, which will be brought in from right here. Now, tagged user will be part of the content in there. So that's all we need to supply, just the row of that added uh, post. That's it. So. At this point, uh, wait a minute, or what we could do is instead of adding the entire row there, what we can do is just give it an ID. So let me come back to the classes here and let's see how in the post.php, how we're actually creating a post. So a post or a comment are both created right here. So I want to see what information is available to us at this point. So there's image there. We don't really mind the image. So in set into posts here, we are adding to the comments. So that's a comment part. And so at this point, we don't really have the row. We would have to uh, read it from the database again. So in order to avoid putting that kind of pressure on this side, we might as well just do it in here. So instead, what we do have is a post ID, which is uh, right there. So I think it would be wise to just supply a post ID so that we can read it from in there. So that's fine. So I will come back here and just supply us with the post ID. And now since we have a post ID, we can read from the database. So to do that is easy enough. Let's find a function here. Okay. Uh, scratch that. I will go to post.php and just do it from here. So first of all, let's instantiate our DB instance. Check. And then let's go to where is this? Mm -hmm. DB read. So somewhere where we are reading uh, would be nice. Uh, Oh, I might just, I could just type this. Why am I struggling like this, trying to copy and paste when I could easily just type it? Okay, there we go. So instead of save, it's going to be read. Uh -huh. Actually, I should have made this into read and write, but for some reason I used save. Okay, so here at this point, let's create our SQL. And the SQL is going to be something like select or from users. Oh, actually, we're looking for the post here. So select all from posts and then uh, where post ID is equal to the current post ID. like that and then we'll say limit one we just need one result that should be enough and then here we'll save this to my post is equal to and then we read from there then we'll check because we are only supposed to do this if an actual result was returned so let's check if it's an actual array and then we'll be happy but then remember that this is returning an array of objects. So let's just get the very first item here. So I will do that by doing this and saying that like so. Okay, so we're getting the first item, putting it there. And so my post contains the post. So which is the row that we need right there. So I will put that row there. Good. And then tagged user is the only thing remaining. So in order to get our tagged users, we will have to get them from the same post inside the post column. 
So if we go to the posts table, you will notice that we have a post here that contains the actual post. So we we have to read from there and then get the tags and then once we get those tags we we send them one at a time through a loop into the add notification. Okay, so we are going to do that in the next video.